right, guys, welcome back. We are in SHOT Show 2023 here at the Revision booth with my friend Sid, and we're going to talk about some brand new eyewear from Revision. Well, thanks for joining. Um, so here at Revision, we have a new technology called iViz. It's our, uh, our solution for high contrast uh, lens tints, but we've really looked at it completely different than everybody else. Um, well, everybody else looks at uh, contrast and lenses by really filtering light in certain areas. We, what we do is uh, gamut expansion. We're blowing light out and expanding it. So uh, imagine if you're trying to write a, draw a picture and you have four colors of crayons, you know, one red, one yellow, one green, um, versus having a, like a thousand crayons. So what does that mean? Like we can do a lot more detail. And so through gamut expansion, by expanding the, the, the chromaticity of that, uh, of that lens, we can have more colors of red, more colors of green. And so uh, what does that do? It allows you to see things that are there that you can't see with a natural or with your naked eye. And the other thing we do with our lens tints is that how we even design them, we really want to like match the, the sort of military uh, idea of how they look at camouflage. So the military looks at you know, high alpine, they look at jungle, they look at desert, they look at um, snow. But we blew snow into uh, cloudy and sunny because they're very different light situations there. And then we came up with an everyday lens. And so to give an example of like how we look at making a lens, you know, we take in the case of snow, we look at geographically area. We want to look at northern Europe because that's where the next thing might be. And um, and so we take like 10 years of NASA or satellite imagery. Um, and we take a, uh, go back to the 1950s color science at Sea Lab, and from there we uh, take you know summer when the sun's straight up, winter when the uh, when the sun's low and a lot of light reflects off the atmosphere, and we create what's called a mun cell color palette. From there. We put it into a supercomputer along with a data set of like 14,000 human eyes and how they perceive light because how you see light or the color blue and I see it is different. Um, so put all that in there and then we have some, uh, some important qualifiers that we can't steer away from. We want color neutral. So red is red, green is green, and blue is blue. We don't want to sneak it over. If you take like a yellow uh, lens, it's like on a scale of a color accuracy, it's like 1%. Everything we do is 94% or above color action. A gray lens is pretty good at 99%. So we're very color accurate. So with that, you know, you can go out in nature, you can see things that you cannot see with a naked eye. But the, the reality is, the only way to do it is to put them on try and get outside. So as you can attest to, there's some funky things that happen out there. Some funky things. Yeah. I have tried these and have been impressed.